Uh, in the Native American garden, which is newly established here at the Botanic Gardens, uh, we have several plants that uh, were useful in Native American culture. One of them, which is a fairly popular California native landscape plant, is white sage, Salvia apiana. Uh, it uh, really is a beautiful and, and unique looking plant. It is different than some of the sages. It has um, uh, larger leaves. And as you can see, it's a very, very light color. They have fine, dense hairs on the leaves. Um, and they're almost a, a, a silvery, silvery green, silvery white color with a, maybe a little tinge of blue in it. Um, but perhaps the uh, most remarkable feature of the white sage is the scent of the leaves. Uh, when you rub these, it's pungent. I'm not sure if there's a better word uh, for the aroma exuded by, uh, by these. Um, but it does make a great landscape plant. Just that color of leaf, that light color of the leaf, uh, uh, can give you great contrast for uh, much darker green uh, plants. Uh, so it's a, a good a good one to mix into the garden. Uh, Salvia apiana is an exceptionally drought tolerant plant. It does grow in the Inland Empire uh, in our region with the limited natural rainfall that we get. Um, and it's also uh, fairly adaptable in terms of soil requirements. Uh, as long as you have reasonable drainage, um, you can uh, grow this plant. Um, unlike some of the other native sages, which uh, uh, the, the flower stalks um, uh, will have these dense whorls uh, that are uh, spaced where the flowers occur, uh, the white sage will produce very long flower stalks, perhaps up to four or five feet uh, tall. Uh, but instead of those uh, spaced whorls of uh, flowers, it'll just have sort of intermittent um, uh, uh, spikes of flowers on them. Uh, and the flower color is generally white with maybe a little tinge of purple. And uh, this is a tremendous plant for bees and other pollinators. Uh, a good addition to your garden. Um, come by and uh, give it a smell here at uh, the Botanic Gardens. Another thing, while it may require just a little bit less pruning than some of the other sages, um, uh, when you do your, your pruning chores, your annual pruning chore, uh, as you prune off those tips, you can wrap them up tightly and uh, use these as burning sticks. So it's a nice uh, incense uh, for you. Just don't take the ones from the gardens.